Hello, welcome to System Design Associates YouTube channel. I'm Anton, Head of IT Operations for System Design Associates. Today we'll be taking a closer look at the new and improved WinDSX Software 5.0. So let's grab your icons and let's log in. For those of you that's new to the WinDSX family, we have two windows that pop up, database and workstation. We're going to focus on the workstation portion first. For those of you that's not new to the WinDSX family, nothing changed with the workstation. Look, everything is the same. Workstation is used for monitoring card swipes or monitoring alerts and alarms. Etc. First thing you definitely need to know about in Workstation is on the bottom right hand side, you see this green primary online. That's very important. Every time you open Windows DSX, sorry, WinDSX, you should always have primary online. If it's not primary online, there's an issue. Either the database is disconnected. It's not communicating with the panel, or there's a network issue. Um, it comes times where people, they call us, and the cards are not being updated to the database all the time, knowing it's calm loss at the bottom, no primary online. So just remember, if it's not primary online, devices are not communicating with the comm server. Um, if it's in red, comm loss, the first thing you should do is reboot the comm server and re-log into the WinDSX software. If that don't work, then there's most likely some type of network issue. Contact System Design Associates, and the technician analyst will be dispatched to your location. Moving along. OK, top left-hand side, we have locations here. I have three locations set up. As you see, every site varies in difference. You might have 10 locations. You might have one location, but it varies. I'm going to skip all the things that you don't need to know about, we're just going to get straight to the point. Things you need to know about, that's it. So it's not going to be one of those tutorials that lob you down with things that unnecessary information, I'll call it. So let's get down to it. Let's click on location one. OK, you won't need to know about devices, inputs, skip all that. Only thing you'll be concerned about in your location is outputs. Only time you'll be using this is, let's say, um, an employee or a colleague locked themselves out, or they forgot their badge at the desk, or they left their badge home. This is where you will go to open up the doors. Um, keep in mind, you see question marks here. That means my comm server is not connected to any devices. I'm just using this for testing purposes. But this is what it will look like if you have a calm loss at the bottom in red. You'll see question marks. So once you click on outputs and you see question marks, that should be a red flag and let you know that there's no communication going to the panel. Therefore, that's when you want to reboot or give us a call so we can come check it out. But in reality, you will have a padlock here. The padlock will be opened or closed. So let's say that the devices are locked. Padlock will be closed. You will right click, open device, and you will open the door for your colleague or employee or employer, whoever is at the door that needs to get in. Okay, right click again to secure a device. Right click, opens, that opens the output, opens the lock. Person able to get in once again, close it back, secure. Now keep in mind, once you open that device and you leave it open, it's open. It's not going to close until you tell it to close. So let's tell it to close again. Secure. Now, another important thing is time zone. Time zone is when you want the door to lock, when you want the door to open. For example, um, you ever notice you go to the bank and the doors are open from, I say, 8 a.m. to maybe 6 p.m.? That's a time zone. So if you set your time zone to 9 to 5, the door opens at 9. It auto locks at five. So if you was to open the output, right click, 
secure the output. Come tomorrow, no one will be able to open the door unless they have a badge because the door is not open because you manually closed it. So when you do open the output, make sure you right click, put on time zone, so you put it back into its working schedule. Okay? Um, that's about it for this here. Also here, you can click on your door and hit this little man here going through the door. That gives a grant access one time. So you click it, person comes in, person closed, the door locks, and it goes back to time zone automatically. Okay? Um, also, you have the lock here, which secures output, does the same thing, open output. It's the same as right-clicking, open, and then secure. Also, the time zone, which is the time clock, does the same feature as secure, open, time zone. The lock opens, close, time zone. So same feature. You can right-click or you can play with the icons on top here. And that's it for the workstation. Now let's move on to database. Okay, database is where you'll be doing the bulk of your work at. Okay, uh, nothing changed in workstation, but a lot has changed in database. For those of you that's um, familiar with the um, old DSX, they changed the skin. The guts are the same, but the skin has changed. They added some GUI interface and make things look a little more modern, I could say. All right, so let's start with location. Here in location, the average end user won't be doing anything in here. Most of this stuff will be configured by SDA professional. Um, facility code, you might have to add a facility code. Say you got new tenants in the building and they have a new facility code, you might have to add a new facility code. That's about it. But to do that, you would basically just right-click add a facility code. But this is just a quick run-through. We have more tutorials on how to add car holders, time zones, access codes, um, access levels, and run reports. Um, location, just show you your general location. You will never have to really do anything here. This is more on the configuration side. Card holders, next tab, shows you your card holders and access level. You wanted to add a company, that's for these, this tab here. Okay, most of your work could be in card holders. Next tab is hardware. You'll probably play around with the time zones. You don't have to worry about device, outputs and inputs. That's done by the installer analyst, badging, this is used for if you have a printer connected to the computer when you want to print badges and things like that. You want to put the pictures on the badges. Um, that's what this is used for. We also set things like that up too. History, if you want to run history reports, we have a tutorial on that also. Stay tuned. History reports, you want to know who came in Saturday between 5 a.m. and 8. You can run a report. Any type of report, any time and date, schedule reports, database reports, report one, who's in report, car holder report, access level reports, time zone reports. I mean, it's all types of reports you can run. Location reports, device reports, um, you know, et cetera. Operators. Um, you got someone new coming in that's going to be accessing the software, security guard, a new admin, secretary, etc. Um, you will go to operation password, operator password, right click, add, and you know, add the person there, put their password, set the profile, hit OK. And that person will be added to the system. Um, setup, you won't be doing anything in here. This will be done by the analyst, technician. Help, you can go to help about, it gives you your version, you might call us and we ask you what version are you working with. And you just go to help and about, it gives you the version 5.013. I do believe the latest version is 5.016. But anything that's 5.0 is considered the newer version. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. That's it in a nutshell as far as the ins and outs of the new 5.0 WinDSX. Um, go to our other videos where we go into depth into card holders and locations and things like that. Thank you for your time. May your day be full of production. 
any problems, any questions, please reach out to us at systemdesignassociates.com or feel free to reach out to me directly at Anton at systemdesignassociates.com. Once again, that's Anton at systemdesignassociates.com. Thank you. Enjoy.